Hey there, in this tutorial I'd like to show you how to create something like that. Now wait a bit. Let me blow your mind. So you might wonder how can you do a spiral in After Effects? It's impossible that you would need to create this by hand. No, you wouldn't. Don't even think about it. Let me show you right now how you can do something like that. I will start with my pen tool. No fill, no stroke, that's okay. I just want a shape in the middle. I press my shift key and I create a very simple shape layer. You might think that this is empty, but it actually isn't. Actually, I will take my Y key and place this immediately in the middle. Okay, let me open the shape layer and I can start to populate this thing. I'll open and I want to work within the shape because the shape has the anchor point in the middle. We have pad, we have stroke, we have fill. We do not want a fill. We do want a stroke. If I click on this, you see stroke has appeared and we want a different color. I have here some nice colors prepared perfectly. A nice yellow color. Now, as you can see, I would like this to be rounded. So I will select line cap, round cap, and I make it smaller again, back again to about 30. Yes, this would be suitable. Okay, we have this, the pad, the stroke, the fill. Now, how do we make this round item? Simply, we add something that is called a twist. I'll even put the twist beneath the fill, just so I have an order. And boom, like we would create ice cream. Now, be aware, if you select fill instead of stroke, you might see some errors, it will all fill out, but I want to work only with the stroke. And I created this shape to make the stroke really even. Okay, as you can see, this looks completely beautiful. You can work a bit with the stroke and basically this would be the perfect start towards your animation. Okay, once you have that, I want to show you something important. If you will animate this, like you would like to animate this around here, let me add the trim pads, which we normally use for such things. Trim pads, boom, I'll put it even here behind the twist so it's all together in this shape. Look at the trim pads and I want to show you something very important. You need to remember that this is still one line. Only the middle is taken and it's shaped around. So you need to be aware of this. If you use trim pads, look at that. It goes one side and here's the connection and then it goes again. It looks a bit weird, but 50% is the magic number. So what I would say to you Start with, for example, 10%, go a bit forward, make here 10%, and let me keyframe that. I should keyframe that a bit earlier, okay? And now going forward, you want to animate it maybe towards 50%, not more, okay? Behind, it should also follow to about 50%, and you would have a, a nice animation like that. Of course, you can really adjust that as you want. You can make an animation like this, boom, really swirly. Okay, I still think they should animate together. A beautiful animated line. Now it's a matter of animation, so in order to make this not so boring, let me maybe, this will be the closer, this will be the opener, and in order to make this not so boring, we also have here in the transform shape options, we have rotation. Let's maybe select rotation, go to the end of the animation, make maybe one full rotation. You see, now this turns together and this looks really crazy. I really like the animation that it turns out like that. And if you want to be even a bit more sophisticated, at the end, we had somewhere the stroke. Let me open the stroke. You have stroke width, boom, keyframe it. At the end, it should slowly disappear to zero. This will give it the nice little touch on the end. Of course, you have total freedom when it comes to animating this. The most important will be the start and end of the trim pad, where it starts to come live. I can even place this later. All right. And here, it will start to disappear behind it because this is the start. You can see, well, and depending where do you put those middle keyframes, how do you animate them? Now you have so much freedom. You just control D, you put it a bit in front, you select a different color for the stroke, 
and you have two totally beautiful animations. You maybe place them on top of each other and you will get something like that. Of course, this would need a bit more adjustments because the keyframes are a bit boring now, but I wanted to show you how to approach this animation. I hope this is a very useful trick to you and we'll see each other in other cool tutorials like this.